Hey guys, it's Jay Cini here, and today I have a couple of tips that will hopefully help you to make some more money. Okay, everyone is looking for ways to earn some more money. Money allows you to do whatever you like. It gives you the freedom to do the things that you really want to do. Money is basically value. The more money you make, the more value you've probably brought to the world. Obviously, there's some exceptions, but as a general rule, that's the way things go. Okay, so the first tip I have for you is to be super industrious. So that means take on more work. Let's say you have a job where you work at a coffee shop or something like that. Ask your boss for more shifts. Go the extra mile. Do extra things to help that business. And I guarantee the boss will see that and you will be rewarded favorably. Over time of being really industrious, the people that you work for will see that you're putting in so much extra effort compared to everyone else, and you'll get more shifts, you'll get that pay rise, all that sort of thing. All I'm basically saying is go that extra mile and you'll very likely see those results. So the second piece of advice I have for you is to upskill. Let's say you have a skill, get better at that skill or learn a new skill to accompany that one. The more skills you have, the more likely you are to bring value to a company and the more likely they are to hire you. So let's say you're a contractor and you do different jobs for people. Let's take a musician in this case. So let's say you play guitar really well. It might be worth considering picking up the piano or a mandolin or something like that, learning a second instrument and then people will be more likely to hire you because you have this new skill and you can bring this new sound to a band and they don't have to pay two people and they can pay you and it's more likely to get you work. This of course goes across a lot of different industries. It's not just music. You could take this in construction. You might be really good at one certain thing and you learn another skill which is very similar in that sort of area which not that many people can do both and you're guaranteed to get more work. So there's a tip, always be building on top of your skills and the more skills you have, the more value you can bring to the world and that means that more people are likely to hire you. All right, so the third one is a really important one in 2018. Now, it's not enough to have just one stream of income. Your job might be really stable, but chances are it's probably not as stable as you think it is. Something could easily come up and your job will be gone. Let's say you work for a company uh, so many times I've seen my friends get made redundant and they thought their job was really stable. So it's important to have multiple streams of income. So if one goes down, it's not the end of the world. You can keep working in a few other areas and you can continue to make an income and not be in trouble. Multiple streams of income is an absolute must and everyone can do it. So I have a few different streams of income. I play music, uh, both for myself and for other people. I make music videos for people and I also teach as a casual teacher in high schools and primary schools. So if one thing goes away, like say I'm not getting called as much for casual work, it's all good because I'm still playing gigs and I'm still making videos for people. And vice versa, let's say the gigs dry up a little bit as they do often through the winter, I've still got teaching. So I have a few different streams, so if one kind of drops off a little bit, it's not the end of the world. I would strongly advise having multiple streams of income. Because it's not about being super greedy or anything like that. It's about security. You know, if something goes wrong somewhere, then you're fine. You still have another job that you can do. So the next tip I have is to look at ways of generating passive income. So passive income is basically where you put some effort in at the start and then you leave it sit and it just basically continues to make you money. An example of this would be taking videos or photos and then uploading them as stock footage to a few different websites. You do the initial work and then people will continue to buy it over time. So you don't have to put in any additional work, the work's already done, but it continues to make you money and you don't have to trade your time for money. There's many, many different ways of doing this. You could do it on a YouTube channel. Obviously, it takes a little bit of work and set up to get that happening. Uh, Amazon affiliate links, if people click on your links and then buy something from Amazon, then you're going to make a little bit of money from that. So that's all stuff where you don't actually have to be there for the transaction to happen. So passive income is the most effective way to become really well off. Jeff Bezos, who owns Amazon, he doesn't have to be there for every single transaction that happens on Amazon. He can make money while he's asleep. And that is the secret to generating wealth. 
The final way that you can make more money is to invest your money. Make your money work for you. So you don't have to go crazy and go trawling through all the company's balance sheets and seeing what's going to be really successful. But what you can do is pick an index fund, a fund that tracks the top 200 companies in a certain country or the top 500 in Australia, in America, even global. So for the last 100 years, there's been about a 7-8% to return on index funds across the world. So some years it will go up 20%, some years it will go up 30%, some years it might even go down. But this is for the long haul. You can't expect to just have your money in for a year and to grow your wealth a lot. It's something that you continue to put money away for many years and then over time you will see that that 7-8% to return starts to average out. You know, you might get into the markets when it's a really bad time and it might tank quite a lot. But over time, that will average out and you'll get some really good years, you'll get some average years, and over time, you'll get that 7 to 8% return, which is way better than a 2% return in the bank. Now, if you're really risk adverse and you don't want to lose any money at all, then the stock market is probably not for you, but it is for the long haul, not the short haul. The point I'm trying to stress is that you don't need to be a master stock guru to make money out of the stock market. Just look at an index fund something that tracks the top 200 companies in a particular country or the top 500 or you can even look at a global one of the biggest companies in the world but you're more likely to get a better return than leaving your money sit in the bank. Another good idea is to pick a couple of really good dividend paying stocks that you put money away to that will pay a certain dividend to you every six months or every year and that way it doesn't matter where the stock price is going you're still getting a dividend every six months to every year. Obviously, you want the stock price to go up because that makes your money more valuable. But if you reinvest that dividend over time, it's going to make you more and more money. So that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found some of these tips really useful and you can apply some of those things, develop some multiple streams of income. So my name is Jay Sini. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. And we'll see you later.